Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today as part of my Git tutorial series, I'm going to discuss Git reset. What is Git reset and different forms of reset command? So to start with, let's first discuss what is Git reset. Git reset is the command to undo or reset your changes made to the repository. As we know that Git uses three layers the first one is working directory, next one is staging, and the last one is local repository. And when we make changes in the file available in the working directory, and then we move these files to the staging area before committing to the repository. And when the file is in the staging area, then we can either commit those files to the repository, or we can remove those files as well from the staging area by using the git reset command. Now let's see the practical implementation of it. So this is my working directory where I'm working on the project and did some changes to the files. And now if I do the git status over here, then you can see I have two files which are still in my working tree and not staged for commit. One file I have modified and the other one is an untracked file, means it is the new file which I have added. Now, to move a file to the staging area, I can type the command git add followed by the file path. And if I do the git status again, then you can see here, now this file is moved to the staging area and this one still exists in the working tree. So let me add this file as well to staging area. Now, if I do the git status again, sorry, this cannot be in caps. Now you can see that both files are in the staging area and ready to be committed. So at this stage, either you can commit these files from the staging area to the local repository. Or if you think that you no longer want these files from a staging area to commit to the repository. In that case, you can remove the files from a staging area. Let's say I don't want this file to be a part of my commit. So I can remove it by using the command git reset. So we have three forms of git reset command. The first one I'm going to discuss is mixed form. So whenever you want to reset or move your changes from staging area to working tree, then you can use a mixed form of git reset command. Followed by the file name which you want to reset. You can see here this file has been unstaged. Also git reset command uses mixed form as the default mode. If I don't specify the form in the git reset command, then the git reset command will have the same behavior as using mixed option. So let's see how it works. Currently, I have one file that is staged and the other one is in working directory. And I'm moving this file again to staging area by using git add command. And if I do the git status, then you can see here, now we have both the files available in a staging area. And now if I need to remove the file from a staging area, then I can type git reset followed by the reset option. So as I already said that this is the default mode used by git reset command. So I can remove this option and can directly use the git reset command. To remove a specific file, I can provide the file name here. But if you want to move all files from staging to working directory, then you can only type git reset and press enter. Now, if I do the git status, then you can see here both files have been moved from a staging area and the changes have been moved to the working directory. So whenever you want to remove your files from the staging area and to move them back to the working directory, then you can use git reset 
with mixed option or default option. Now the next option or form of Git reset is hard. When you pass the hard option in the Git reset command, then it will reset both the staging area and the working directory, which means that it will remove the pending changes from both the layers, which are either pending in the working directory or staging area. Now let's see how it works. And before that, I need to move one file to the staging area. So I'm adding this Amazon test new dot feature file. And if I do the get status, then we have one file in a staged. And let's say I don't want this file to be a part of my commit. And I want to remove this change or file completely. Then I can type the command git reset with hard option. You can see here it displays that git resets the head pointing to the latest commit, which means all the changes after this commit has been removed from both staging area and working directory. We can see here that the file Amazon test new dot feature is not available under the working directory as well. And the reason is because we have used git reset command with hard option. So you need to use this option carefully because once the changes will be removed by using git reset hard, then there is no way you can get your changes back. So we have seen two forms of git reset command that are mixed and hard. Now the last form of git reset command is soft. Unlike the hard and mixed option, which is used to remove files from a staging and working directory. The soft option is basically to undo or reset the last commit. Let's see how it works. So if I type git lock command to get the last four commit details. Currently, this is the latest commit and the head is pointing to this. And if I want to reset these commits so that my head will point to this. And to do that, I can type the command git reset hyphen hyphen soft and provide the number of commits you want to reset. And then press enter. Now, if I again type git lock command with the last four commits, then you can see this is the latest commit now to which head is pointing. To get the full details of commit history, I can avoid one line option. So you can also provide the commit checksum value to perform git reset. Let's say I want to reset the latest commit so that the head will point to this commit. To provide the checksum value in the git reset command, copy this value and then type git reset hyphen hyphen soft. After that, paste the checksum value over here and then press enter. Now, if I do the git lock command again, then you can see here now the head is pointing to this commit, which we have provided in our git reset command. So, this is how you can use git reset commands to undo your changes from the repository. Please try it by yourself and put your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel.